Once upon a time in a small village nestled in the heart of a dense forest, lived a young boy named Emmanuel. Emmanuel was a happy-go-lucky boy, loved by all. He had a heart full of kindness, and his smile could light up the darkest corners of the village. His life was perfect, or so it seemed, until one fateful day when everything changed. Emmanuel's best friend, a boy named Victor, had always been his confidant, his partner in crime, and his shadow. They were inseparable, and their bond was unbreakable. However, one day, Victor betrayed Emmanuel in the most heinous way possible. Victor had always been envious of Emmanuel's innocence and purity, and one day, he decided to take it away. He spread rumors about Emmanuel, making him out to be a thief, a leer, and a cheat. Emmanuel, believing his best friend, was devastated. He couldn't understand how his best friend could betray him so terribly. His innocence was lost, and his life was never the same again. His parents, his teacher, everyone turned against him. He was exiled from the village, and he had to live on the outskirts of the forest, away from the society he once knew. Years went by, and Emmanuel grew up to be a man. He was still living in the same place, away from the village, away from society. He had built a small hut for himself, and he spent his days in solitude, nursing his wounds. He had forgiven Victor, but he couldn't forgive himself for losing his innocence. He couldn't forgive himself for not being able to see the truth, for believing Victor's lies. One day, Emmanuel was sitting near his hut, staring at the sky, lost in his thoughts when he saw a figure approaching him. It was Victor, the boy who had betrayed him so many years ago. Victor looked old, worn out, and tired. He had come to Emmanuel to seek forgiveness. He had realized his mistake and he wanted to make amends. Emmanuel was taken aback. He didn't know how to react. Victor knelt down in front of Emmanuel and looked him in the eye. My dear Emmanuel, I am so sorry for what I did. I was young, and I didn't know any better. I made a grave mistake and I have lived with that guilt all these years. I came to make amends and to beg for your forgiveness. Emmanuel was taken aback. He had never seen Victor like this. He had always known him as the boy who had betrayed him, the boy who had taken away his innocence. But now, Victor looked like a broken man, a man who was begging for forgiveness. Emmanuel felt a wave of emotions wash over him. He was hurt, angry, and confused. But there was also a hint of compassion in his heart. He remembered the boy he once knew, the boy who had been his best friend, the boy he had loved. Get up, Emmanuel said, his voice barely above a whisper. You don't have to kneel. You've caused me enough pain. Victor stood up, tears streaming down his face. I understand if you can't forgive me. I don't deserve it. But please, Emmanuel, give me a chance to make things right. Emmanuel looked at Victor for a long time. He saw the remorse in his eyes, the pain in his face. He saw the man he had once known, the man he had forgiven in his heart long ago. I forgave you a long time ago, Victor, Emmanuel said, a small smile on his face. I forgave you the day I realized that holding on to anger and hatred was eating away at me. I forgave you the day I decided to live my life, to live for myself and not for what others thought of me. I forgave you when I stopped blaming you for my misfortunes and started taking responsibility for my own life. Victor was taken aback. He had expected anger, resentment, but what he saw was forgiveness, understanding, and compassion. Thank you, Emmanuel, Victor said, tears streaming down his face. Thank you for giving me a second chance. I promise I will make it right. Victor and Emmanuel hugged each other both of them understanding the gravity of the situation. They had come a long way, both in terms of physical distance and emotional distance. They had confronted their past, they had faced their fears, and they had forgiven each other. Emmanuel returned to the village with Victor. He was welcomed back with open arms, and for the first time in years, he felt like he belonged. He had forgiven Victor, and in doing so, he had forgiven himself. He had forgiven himself for believing Victor's lies, for not seeing the truth, for being naive. The villagers were amazed at the transformation in both Emmanuel and Victor. 
They had both been forgiven, and in that forgiveness, they had found healing. They had found a way to move forward to live their lives with purpose and meaning. The villagers realized that forgiveness is not just about the person who has done wrong, but also about the person who has been wronged. It is about letting go of anger, bitterness, and resentment. It is about understanding that everyone makes mistakes, and it is about giving people a second chance. Emmanuel and Victor became close friends again. They spent time together, they laughed together, and they cried together. They had come a long way, and they had learned the healing power of forgiveness. Years went by, and Emmanuel grew old. He had lived a full life, a life filled with love, compassion, and forgiveness. He had become a beacon of hope for the villagers, a symbol of forgiveness and healing. Emmanuel passed away, leaving behind a legacy of love and forgiveness. His story was told and retold, generation after generation, and it inspired countless people to practice forgiveness in their lives. His life was a testament to the healing power of forgiveness, a power that can heal wounds, mend relationships, and transform lives. Emmanuel and Victor, two boys who had been torn apart by betrayal and misunderstanding, became a symbol of forgiveness and healing. Their story taught the villagers and taught the world that forgiveness is not just a concept, but a powerful force that can change lives. Forgiveness is not always easy, and it is not always immediate. It requires courage, empathy, and a willingness to let go of the past. It requires understanding that everyone makes mistakes and that everyone deserves a second chance. The story of Emmanuel and Victor is a testament to the healing power of forgiveness. It is a story of betrayal, forgiveness, and healing. It is a story that reminds us that forgiveness is not just about the other person, but also about ourselves. It is a story that teaches us that forgiveness is not just a feeling, but a choice. And so, the story of Emmanuel and Victor continues to inspire, to heal, and to transform lives. Their story is a reminder that forgiveness is always possible, and that it is always worth it. It is a story that celebrates the power of forgiveness, a power that can heal even the deepest wounds, a power that can transform even the darkest of situations into a beacon of hope and light. Emmanuel's house where he had lived after being exiled from the village was turned into a place of pilgrimage. People came from far and wide to seek his blessings, to seek his guidance, and to seek his forgiveness. They came to learn about the power of forgiveness, to understand its healing power, and to embrace its transformative potential. Emmanuel's story became a beacon of hope, a beacon of light in a world filled with darkness, anger, and hatred. His story reminded people that forgiveness is always possible, that forgiveness is always worth it, and that forgiveness is always within reach. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.